In this movie, we'll be talking about how to incorporate virtual instruments into your Pro Tools session, and we'll be setting up a virtual instrument track and recording a note to that track. Virtual instruments are software instruments that will accept MIDI notes and data, and then play back audio in Pro Tools. And in a later movie, we'll talk about printing the audio to a track. It's important to note that when we're talking about MIDI, that is an acronym for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, we're really talking about control and data. We're not talking about sound necessarily. So when we create the instrument, um, here we're going to be using Structure Free, we're sending note data to the instrument and then the instrument is making a sound. MIDI is not sound, it's control and it's data, which then is received by an instrument and that instrument makes sound. So that's really important to note. To create a virtual instrument, we'll create a new track and we'll choose instrument track. Here we'll do stereo and make sure that the instrument track is in ticks so that way it can follow tempo changes and scale notes accordingly. And choose create. Now we'll go to the mix window. Let's rename this track structure and under inserts we'll choose the top insert and choose multi-channel plugin instrument structure free. Structure Free is a free software instrument that DigiDesign provides to Pro Tools uh, users and you can go to the DigiDesign website and research how to get Structure Free. They only charge you the shipping. What's great about Structure Free is it's a sampler that will read multiple sample file types. So if you've got sample libraries from uh, East Wind or Native Instruments or whatever, you can load them into Structure Free, so it's rather nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to send notes into Structure Free. I've got a big 88 key keyboard hooked up to Pro Tools. And I want you to notice that when I press notes on my keyboard that's in my studio, you'll see these keys at the bottom to press. But we don't hear any sound. So this is to really emphasize the point that MIDI is not sound. Rather, MIDI is just sending um, control data to an instrument here Structure Free. In structure, we have to set up a patch. And there's a note here that says, sampler parts contain no samples. Please add them in the editor. Well, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new uh, patch by right-clicking or control-clicking and choosing Load New Patch. Now, I've got some samples um, that were provided by DigiDesign and as well some samples that weren't provided by DigiDesign. And here let's choose synth bass leads and oh let's see how about nice saw lead patch okay so I'm gonna unload the first one the sine wave if I remove patch and the structure free is a, it's a bit awkward they took a, away some functionality that I think is probably present in structure so you can't actually change the patch once it's loaded. You have to create a new patch, and it gets to be a bit um, tiresome. When you're using an instrument track here, the notes are received on MIDI channel A1. Now if I press my keyboard, I get this sound. And now I can record notes to the track, and they'll play back using Structure Free. To do this, I'll close the Structure Free window, it's still enabled, and record enable the track, record enable the transport, and I'm going to enable wait for note. And what wait for note does is when I press play, Pro Tools will wait for me to strike a key on my keyboard, then it'll start playing. And this is really good for cases where you want absolute precision with your starting and you may be in a case like I am here where it's one person in a studio and you're not quick enough to press play on Pro Tools and then go over to your keyboard. If you don't see the wait for note, go to view, transport, and then choose MIDI controls. So when I press play, it says waiting for MIDI. And now I'll play a low F sharp for my note. So now we see a note in the Structure Free track. If 
I zoom in and let's make it a little bit taller. You'll notice the difference between audio tracks and instrument or MIDI tracks pretty quickly. Audio tracks display waveforms. MIDI tracks and uh, instrument tracks display notes. If I want to move this region, I choose the hand grabber. But unlike a waveform where I can just drag it around, here if I start trying to drag, I have this crosshair uh, icon and it's not letting me drag the region. Well to do this, we need to actually select from notes, blocks or regions, and then we can move the region as we do audio tracks. Just as in audio tracks, you can use the minus key to toggle between um, volume editing and waveform editing. In MIDI and instrument tracks, you can use the minus key to toggle between notes and regions. So you can edit notes or slide regions around. Now in the next movie, we're going to go into detailed note editing using the pencil tool. But for now, you can simply set up an instrument and record by setting up a virtual instrument track, loading an insert on that track, a virtual instrument. Here we chose uh, structure free. And then choosing a patch, and it works just like an audio track from there. Record enable the track and record some music.